Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig, Extension Milk Quality Veterinarian for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And today, in part of our ongoing series of how to perform and, and use on-farm culturing, we're going to be talking about the very critical decision of collecting the actual milk sample. Now, the purpose of using on-farm culturing is to arrive at a diagnosis where we can understand if the mastitis case will benefit through the use of antibiotics. And the entire process of performing the on-farm culturing is absolutely dependent on how well the milk sample was collected. If this step is not performed correctly, then the rest of the entire process will be meaningless. Before we start taking the sample, we should put all of our supplies together and in easy access to the milking technicians who will be detecting the cases in the parlor. So the things that they need to have access to are sterile vials that have never been used and have always been kept closed. They need to have their normal pre-dip, normal milking towels, and they should be wearing clean gloves. They need to have a marker um, that is uh, indelible so that they can label the vial properly. And the extra piece of supply they need is alcohol swabs to thoroughly scrub the teat end so that the sample can be collected aseptically. And then they should have somewhere they can immediately put those samples to cool them until the plating can occur. The process of collecting the sample is very simple, but it needs to be done very systematically. Our purpose is to collect a clean milk sample from an aseptically prepared teat. Now, few critical things are, the milking technician should always wear gloves, the teat should be prepared with its normal pre-dip and drying and force stripping, and then that teat needs to be aseptically scrubbed with 70% alcohol so that all the bacteria on the teat skin are killed before we collect that milk sample. One of the ways we normally do this would be to have the milking technician after he detects the case, make sure he labels the vial with the cow ID, the quarter and the date. We wanna ensure that before we ever get to scrubbing the teat, that a dry wipe of the udder is done to remove the loose debris, four stripping of three to four streams of milk has been performed to remove the milk that was present in the teat cistern itself. The pre-dip needs to have been applied and had a 20 to 30 second contact time to allow the teat skin to be sanitized. The teat then needs to be dried off with a single use towel. And then the most critical part is the end of the teat needs to be scrubbed with gauze swabs that are soaked in 70% alcohol to fully sanitize that teat end.
I cannot overestimate how important collecting a clean milk sample is. Mastitis is generally caused by just a single type of bacteria that manages to penetrate the teat canal and cause that infection. However, bacteria can get into milk samples from many sources, such as teat skin, contamination of the vials, or contamination during sampling. And if that contamination occurs and multiple bacteria are present in the sample, everything we do with that milk sample later is meaningless because we don't know which of those bacteria is causing mastitis. So it's very critical that the milking technicians who detect the mastitis are properly trained in collection of these samples. So in conclusion, as we look at collecting milk samples to use in on-farm culture systems, we have to first of all have a great system to detect the case. We have to remember to label the vial. And then in the process of collecting the sample, we need all of these steps. A dry wipe to remove debris, a force strip to remove milk that was already in that teat cistern, cleaning of the teats and scrubbing with alcohol, taking the sample into a clean vial and immediately cooling. Music